In order to find the normal line to an ellipse given by the equation 2x squared plus y squared plus xy equals 1, the first thing we have to do is find the derivative of this equation because the derivative will give us the tangent line slope and we can take the opposite reciprocal to find the normal line. So derivative of 2x squared is 4x. The derivative of y squared with respect to x is 2y dy dx. And the derivative of xy, we'll need to use the product rule, so that will become plus x times the derivative of y with respect to x plus y times the derivative of x equals, and then the derivative of 1 is 0. Gathering the 4x and the y to the right-hand side of the equation gives us negative 4x minus y. When we factor out the dy dx from the x and from the 2y, we end up with dy dx is equal to negative 4x minus y divided by x plus 2y when we divide. So here's our derivative. We know that our ellipse contains the point 0, negative 1, and we're interested in the slope there. So we will evaluate this at the point 0, negative 1, which gives us, if x is 0, negative 4x is 0. And if y is negative 1, then negative y is positive 1. And in the denominator, if x is 0, then that's 0 plus 2 times negative 1, or negative 2. So the slope of the tangent line is equal to negative 1 half, meaning that the slope of the normal line is equal to positive 2, the opposite reciprocal. We now know that our line goes through the point 0, negative 1, which is a y-intercept. So we can just go straight into slope-intercept form. y should be equal to m, our slope, 2x, plus b, or plus negative 1, so minus 1. So if we quickly take a look at the graph, this is the graph of our ellipse. And if we look at the equation of the line, y equals 2x minus 1, we'll see that it is normal to our ellipse at 0, negative 1. And it definitely intersects the ellipse at a second point. Now we need to find that second point. So in order to do that, we now have a system of two equations. We have y equals 2x minus 1, and we have our ellipse equation. So if we know that y is equal to 2x minus 1, we can just replace every y with 2x minus 1, giving us 2x squared plus y squared plus x times y is equal to 1. We will distribute all this out, giving us 4x squared minus 4x plus 1, and a plus 2x squared minus x equals 1. Combining the like terms gives us 8x squared minus 5x, and if we subtract the 1 over, equals 0 quickly factor out the x, we get 8 times, or x times 8x minus 5 equals 0, and using the zero product property we get x equals 0, and we get x equals 5 over 8. Now we don't need to even bother to look at x equals 0, because we know that that's the point 0, negative 1. So all we have to do is look at the point x equals 5 eighths and plug it back in to find out what y is. Now we have two different equations in which we could plug it back in. One is our ellipse equation and one is our linear equation. We know that they intersect at that point, so it doesn't matter which one we use. It seems a lot easier to use the linear equation. So we will go with y equals 2 times 5 eighths minus 1 or 10 eighths minus 1 which is 2 eighths or 1 fourth. So they intersect a second time at the point 5 eighths comma 1 fourth. And if we look back at the graph, Desmos will tell us that it is 
0.625 comma 0.25, which is 5 eighths and 1 fourth.